Welcome to another episode of Conversations with Sophia for Christ. This week is a bit unique because we have someone who needs your help. Imagine not being able to sit, to stand, to walk, to run, not being mobile. This is Andre Rose's story. Since May 10th, 2022, he has been immobile in his hospital bed and he needs your help. He needs your help to get the surgery that will enable him to regain his mobility and do all the things that we so often take for granted. And now I will share with you Andre Rowe in his own words. I currently work for myself, but I um, just purchase things for people like go to their homes, buy kids, whatever things. Just currently work for myself at home. Yeah, so at the time, I just get a little work, so I come here, come on for the interview. At that day, we had the accident. The day of the accident, it was a day like Tuesday, we were coming down Maxilla. We reached right at the end of the road. A car turned out of the end of the road. We came off a bike, we had a bike in the air. Coming, coming to the ground, the bike fell first. Surgery on my left hip. Yeah, so all the way really that I can really get back from my foot. Yeah, do a surgery from my left hip. Before you get back from my foot, so the nearly have an iron run through my foot so the bone can stay together. That's my foot that gets shot at that one. So that's all the surgery. And then when I wire my hand, I put the first, the first, the second and the third finger and I really heal back as it's so enough to wire the bone to make the bone stay together to be heal. Um, the surgery is about two different price but the one of them really want for them prefer is about 580,000 yeah but if we can get the second one done with 485,000 it would be better so, I just this not really have a problem with like the fun to do the surgery and I really, really, really want to do the surgery because I'm fed up on in here. I really want to go outside. I really want to live up on the road like try to get back a job. Not bike. Just need to go out there to get back a job. Yes, sir. That's not my problem, all right? Hello, everyone. So I have here with me the mother of Andre Rowe, Miss Joan Patterson. And she's going to, we're just going to talk about at first, you know, how she heard about his his accident on May 10th. So, Sister Patterson. I was home washing, you know, and I get a call mm. that if I'm Andre, mother, and I say yes, and the lady said to me, well, something just hit him off his bike at Maxwell Avenue. Mm -hmm. So she get him in to come down to the Cape Page for me. Mm -hmm. Why do we are nervous? Mm -hmm. I just a tremble I go with so. Yeah. The lady said to me, said, calm, calm. She's there with him mm -hmm. till him reach down. Mm -hmm. And I just get beat and rush over to the hospital. And I see him. When I reach the hospital, he reach down Harry. Mm -hmm. And so I'm not going with him and there the whole evening with him. Till him had this and go on the wall. Mm -hmm. So I was in a lot of pain. Whoa. Holy yeah. papi. Yeah. Yes. Holy papi. I know sometimes the pain and you can't get flip turn, you must be in mm -hmm. one place. Yeah, fly down one place, mm -hmm. one position. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, in terms of um, 
the incident now, it, it just knocked him off. But it actually turns out that the car came with such a force oh, yes, yes, like that it, it actually up, fly up yes. in the air. So they come in, mm. come down now, come down on his side. Yeah, up, on, on the left the, side. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, toward the finger broke. Mm -hmm. In the yeah, left hand. Yeah. Like toward I think he had said these mm -hmm. fingers mm -hmm. were broken and they had to mm -hmm. fuse it together. Yeah, but them said they forgot to do something with it again. Like yeah. it not set good or something. Oh, God. When they might go to the hip. Mm -hmm. So the hip though, when he, he fell, mm -hmm. uh, and you would have seen Andre's clip, but because he's in the hospital, yeah. uh, pain and support, he can't go into too much details, mm -hmm. plus the, the audio would have yeah. suffered. But actually, he had told me that when he went up airborne and he came down, mm -hmm. what happened is that the bike came down before him yes. and was at the ground, and he fell on his left That's side, right. so he's like... Yeah. You understand, like the yeah. hip just yeah. shut up, up. Yeah. you know, because he went so, so far, far up, up in the air yeah. and then come down and land on the iron of the bike. A whole man was there and the old man put his head in his lap and mm. said, like every time he went to the old man hit him mm. and said, wake up man, mm. open your high. Well, Open but that old man is thank you very much because yeah. I know this video is yeah. going to go far. Hallelujah. Thank you. We thank you. Hallelujah. Open your high and he said, my mother, when we get better. I have mm. to find that old man. Yes. Have to. Mm. And you had mentioned another lady because the police were on the scene and you know they yeah, were the trying to get details. Yeah. And she had to what really get me. upset yes. after she prayed. She had to get upset and tell her, take up the mother, I can't go to the hospital. hospital yeah. yeah, so that's other thing. But we are so grateful to God that yeah, He spared he his life. life. Yeah. Because you know the greatest thing is life. Because yeah. You know, that's the greatest. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, even in, in your case, you are the one who has to be going to the hospital yes. with him. Yes. And there's nobody but me, I do one. Like, you know, mm. my foot, them now. Yes. His Pretty. his mother, sister Joan Patterson, she also has um, knee leg, prob knee, problem. knee yeah. problems. You haven't done your knee no, replacement yeah, yet. No. So she also has to, she has to walk with a cane. And so imagine, so she has to go every Up single and day. Down. And she has to be taken care of a, a grown man who mm. can't really move himself. So, um, so she has to do her but knee replacement yeah, but surgery, I don't know when. and she don't know when. Mm -hmm. So you know, although we're here mm -hmm. for Andre, you know, we don't know where this video will go. So, if you can also assist with regards to, you can. I'll leave her contact details so that you can contact her, especially if you're in the medical field regarding uh, knee replacement or you know stuff like that. Or if you're overseas, uh, just please contact her if you feel that you're led in that way to assist her in that matter because you guys don't have no health insurance no. yeah myself we are freelancer both self-employed without mm -hmm. self-insurance so uh that's self health insurance mm -hmm. so so that's the thing um so yeah so help as much as you can and now we're going to go into exactly how you can help Audrey we're going to talk a bit about um, um, the, the the whole matter of the surgery and so forth so stay tuned okay so now we're going to talk about the the costs associated with getting Andre back at his feet because from May 10th and as of now where we're filming it's actually Father's Day June 19th so it's been over a month he has not been able to come off his bed he can't sit down mm -hmm. him can um so he can't even say oh sit up and change because mm -hmm. he has no left hip at all like he his leg has to be in attraction and like just to keep it straight until they go in and do the surgery so you understand him can't really shift and they have weight attached to that traction so he can't shift at all and he it's not like he was a lazy man mm -hmm. he was very active jump around as he said before, do his um, career work by a bike, and it was while he was doing work that that happened mm -hmm. to him. Okay, so we have uh, two advices, right? Yeah. So, uh, okay. so I think this one, this was the first one, one yeah. and I, I'm not going to show his address because we still have to think about that. I don't know how well it's picking up. So the first one is from. Surgix Jamaica. I'm going to slowly move it up so hopefully it's reflecting. I'll see if I uh, take a picture of it as well and insert in the video. Of course, hiding his um, 
his address for security reasons. So this one, this first one from Surgix Jamaica Limited that KPH sent his, his mother to go to, their invoice says that to get a total hip replacement components, femoral stem, uh, acetabular cup, HXLPE liner, femoral, bo femoral head, bone screws, system, corin, cementless, um, that entire um, things that I read out, it's 575, but then there's something called, they also ask for 3K wire, don't know what that is, at 1,500 each, so that's 4,500, so the total there is 579,500. Now let me just um, emphasize here that, uh, see that it's a, a public hospital KPA, so they'll do the actual surgery. However, they, remember, there's no hip bone there, like it disintegrate, nothing is there, right? So they have to go in with a total hip replacement for him, right? So this is why it's so expensive. Because I like say what was like a, a system. So then it's it's um, quite expensive. So that first one from Surgix Jamaica, Surgix Jamaica Limited, um, 13 Eureka Crescent Kingston 10. That's the total they gave is 579,500. I think um, they were saying that you should they want the money up Cash, front. Yeah. Cash. Mm -hmm. She must pay them up front. All right. So that's the first one. Then she w you went back and um. Yeah, that place. They sent her to Medical Technologies Meditech Limited, 22 Northside Plaza, shop number one, Ligani Kingston 6. I'm going to again cover Andre's, well, you can see his name, but I'm covering his address for security reasons. You can see his name, Andre. Right? And scroll it up. Alright, so this one, when she, the second place that she went now, um, they are saying that yeah, I try to figure out how to read these things. So item SNTH001 total hip system no total hip system complete kit. One of that that says 433,301. And the system includes femoral stem synergy, femoral head, R3 three hole shell, R3 acetabular liner. Sorry if I'm butchering the pronunciations of these medical terms. R3 acet, acet, acetabular hole cover, femoral head, COCR. So that is 433301, but it's not done yet because they said they're also renting an ortho saw rental, which you know that may not be at the hospital. Um, so 50,750. Ortho drill rental that is another 15,750. And they also have an item called 690 which is the Kirschner wire. I, I guess that is 2.0 by or 2 millimeter by 310 millimeter trocar. And they need three of those at 494 each, and the total for those is uh, 100. $1,482. So the overall invoice for this one is $466,283. And these are in Jamaican terms. These are Jamaican dollars. So the second place that she went, so um, she first went to Surgix Jamaica Limited and they were asking for all of the money up front and it's more expensive. And then she was sent to Medical Technologies Meditech at uh, 22 Northside Plaza, Shop 1, Ligadi, Kingston 6, and um, they're asking for uh, $466,283, right? But that is just the, the, the for the surgery, mm -hmm. right? Because after surgery, has to do what? Right, so remember, say, this is a total for a thing that they're putting inside it now. Mm -hmm. So he has to do physiotherapy. I remember he has been walking for a month and counting. Mm -hmm. So he has to do physiotherapy to get back into into the whole mix of things. Mm -hmm. uh, so that, although it is offered uh, free of cost by KPH, remember that his mother doesn't drive. We're filming inside my car. His mother doesn't drive. 
um, if they have anybody to drive him like that to go to his physiotherapy sessions and he can't be taking public transport like the regular public transport he's going to have to be chartered taxis just to preserve the integrity of the hip bone that is in place and you know all of these things so that's so don't just think of it as oh it's the surgery mm -hmm. which is what we're looking at now but he will also they will also require assistance thereafter because even after the surgery he will be given medication during physio there will be medication at different aids that will come into place for him to do exercises at home mm -hmm. so that those things will um, cause additionally so um yeah that's the other thing because mm -hmm. I think they may even give him request crutches. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, the other thing. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, because they're going to give that to the hospital. Same thing. So people, it is more than the 400. It's more than the 466283 that we're asking for at least. Um, I know that this is COVID-19 times, but um, it doesn't matter how small the amount is. Mm -hmm. What matters is your intent. And um, even if you can't give, send your prayers but most importantly you're watching this video share it please share it everywhere you know you know about share the memes and the little funny joke them share this one you'll be doing a world of god this is a real need and we need to get him up and running so you can also contact sister joan patterson and um your number is tell me nine zero nine zero zero forty five tell me again my number is 909-0045. So 909-0045. And I'll make sure that it's uh, both in the description box below and also as a caption on here. Mm -hmm. The other thing, for you to make contributions, and this account is in your name, yeah. National Commercial Bank. The account number, I'm going to ooh, focus. Oh, okay. I don't know. Uh, so I'm going to read it out as well as hold it up. As right, so I'm going to read it, I see if I can also have a, a picture of just this account card. Um, so it's a regular savings account, and it's at the which branch? Mm -hmm. uh, you said King Street or yeah, something Duke like that. Street. Duke we don't Street. Know what King Street. Regular savings account. Um, zero six five one one four seven seven one. That's zero six five one one four seven seven one, and it's in the name your name, mm -hmm. John Patterson. Mm -hmm. And of course, I'll make sure that all of these details are listed out down uh, on the screen and also in the the <clears throat> description box below. All right, so um, yeah, please help Andre. And like I said before, uh, Sister Patterson also has her. Uh, the replacement that has been she's been struggling with this with the pain and uh, not being able to walk very well for a long time four or five years mm -hmm. now that's all like from over, 2019 from, from 2019 yeah, earlier about from 2019 it gets serious more yeah so it, it became chronic from 2019 although she can't get the hip replacements why I keep saying hip? Because yes. I think it of Audrey, Andrea, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, the D, sorry, the D replacement. So let me be clear. So Sister Joan, she requires a D replacement. Her son, who is critical, and, uh, like if he can't move, yeah. he requires the total the hip replacement because of the accident that he was involved in. All right. So please share this video even if you can. Even if you said, "Oh, I'm gonna have the body," and I'm going through a hard time. Look here. The fact that you landed on this video and you're seeing it please share the video share it i say oh but we don't have the billionaire that my family or something like that it's not a matter of being a billionaire to be able to give you're giving as the lord empowers you to give so please share the video even if you don't know anybody who can give money like that you don't know who you share it with who they will then share it with and it will get in front of the right person so this family can get the assistance that they need so i'm asking you to please share share this video share it far and wide you know how you share the memes and the joke them and you, you laugh at all of these things i need you to share this video okay so um sister Pardon. Joan, mm -hmm. please, uh, i give thanks to anybody who can help us please i'm asking i'm in nowhere of in the states of that 
to do anything. Mm, Jesus name. I understand. Mm. You understand. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, so this has been stressing her for the longest while because this is our son who he's like how old is Audrey? Twenty nine September coming. He's twenty nine September coming. So this is a very young man and very active, was run, you know, doing his career business. He's very lazy. Mm -hmm. And a violence producer. No none of that. Even a lazy work hard. It's just that this come up to him and we have to ensure that as even as we're filming this on Father's Day and you know we're celebrating fathers, we're celebrating yeah. our men. I ask you to please help Audrey, please help him and please share this video, please share this video. And no matter even if a thousand dollars I have, still deposit it. We we have a whole lot of online banking and so forth, yes. still deposit it. And it's I still the kind of to everybody who can support us. Amen. And we believe in God that this is going to end in praise. It's going to end joyfully. And it is going to end well in the name of Jesus. And we're going to have a follow-up video. We're speaking by faith. And we're going to have a follow-up video of Audrey giving his testimony in church. Because we tell him, if God church, we'll give him testimony. Of him giving his testimony. And of course, um, for him and his mother, Sister Patterson, to be sharing um, their gratitude to you. So please share and please contribute. Um, they need your help. God bless. Thank you. I thank you so much for listening to Andre Rose's story and listening to his mother. And we've shared the ways in which you can help Andre to get back on his feet, literally. It's been a month and counting. And honestly, I don't know how I would deal with the situation of being immobile for so long given that he is an active young man so please help Andre and if you are unable to render financial assistance you can still help you can help by sharing this video the more you share this video the more eyes you'll get on it and you increase the likelihood that Andre's story will get to someone or several persons who can assist him so in advance thank you so much for sharing also thank you for your prayers and your well wishes so until we meet again